Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see how to secure API gateway with Lambda authorizer. Okay, so uh, let's say we have an REST API which is running uh, and the backend of that API is Lambda. So this can be anything uh, specific to your application, but uh, we are going to create a simple REST API with uh, Lambda as a backend service. And uh, so we are going to secure this API with Lambda authorizer. Okay, so uh, the way this works is uh, whenever the user tries to access this API, the API gateway will forward that request to first uh, to the authorizer and uh, it will check for the authentication uh, token and only if uh, authentication is successful then the request will be forwarded to this backend service and then the response will be generated and returned to the user okay and uh, if the authentication is not successful this request will not for be forwarded to the lambda it will uh, return uh, the response saying that the user is not uh, you know access does not have access to this uh, api okay so that's what we are going to do in this tutorial so let's get started so uh, as a first step let's uh, create a simple rest api using api gateway so let me go to my api gateway console and uh, here in the create api we are going to create a rest api click on build and select new api and let's call it as my application api you can call it <coughs> whatever you want and uh, the API endpoint will keep it as regional and click on create API. Okay, so uh, now this API is created. Let's click on create resource and uh, let's call this resource as users. Okay, now uh, we have this users created. Now, in this under this resource, we will create a, a method. Okay, click on create method and the method type is going to be get and the integration type which is our backend service is going to be lambda function so uh, first let's create a lambda function for this and then come back here again click on create and i'm going to call it as get users and i'm going to make it a python code okay and i'll just create so this is going to be a very simple lambda function so i'm not going to add uh, much logic into it as of now so uh, this lambda is created so if you see here uh, whenever you trigger this lambda it returns a status code 200 and a body uh, hello from lambda okay so this is the response it will uh, generate so now let's go back here and refresh this page and see okay so this get users okay so that is going to be my uh, integration type lambda function and i'm selected the lambda function that we created so this is the back end of our uh, get method and click on create method Okay, so uh, this method is now created. So test to test this method, we'll go here and uh, actually we need to first deploy it. So let's click on deploy API and uh, the stage is basically like your environment where you can have different versions. So if you have a dev stage, test and prod stage, you can have different versions of your API in each stage. Okay, let's click on new stage and call it as dev and click on deploy. Okay, so now this is deployed. Let me go here and users and click on get uh, this thing. And so this is the invoke URL for my uh, get API for get users API. Okay, so let me hit this and see what we get. Okay, so now we are getting this uh, status code 200 and body body as hello from Lambda, which is what uh, we have in this Lambda. So uh, let me do one thing. Let me try to hit this URL from uh, postman as well. Okay, so can hit this url uh, and select this get method from the postman and see okay so we are getting this response uh, as expected okay so uh, but there is one problem with this lambda though uh, like anyone uh, can access this api like if they just have access to this url so if they get the hold of this url anyone can access uh, this api and there is no uh, security or authentication implemented uh, for this api okay so uh, let's add uh, this authentication part to our api so what we have implemented till now is this part where like i mean we have created api in api gateway and routed that api to aws lambda okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to add this lambda authorizer whenever uh, this api gateway uh, receives a request it is going to validate and uh, authenticate that request and forward that request to this backend service which is lambda okay so uh, in a nutshell what this lambda authorizer needs to do is uh, it needs to check for an authorization token uh, from this request and if authorization token uh, matches the expected token let's say then it needs to return an iam policy saying that you know this 
uh, user has access to invoke this lambda okay so that is what we are going to do so basically this uh, lambda needs to generate an iam policy based on the authent uh, like authorization token that it receives okay so uh, this is how the sample uh, this policy document will look like uh, the effect it will be defined like uh, based on uh, whether it needs to be allowed or deni uh, denied uh, this resource is basically the method the api gateway method arn that we are going to get from the api gateway console okay so uh, the lambda needs to generate this policy document and it needs to populate whether allow or deny based on the authorization token that it receives okay let me show you the lambda code for this so uh, this is the lambda handler code so basically uh, we are defining this as your so let's call our valid token as let's like let's say xyz uh, 987 okay so this is our valid token only if this token is received in this uh, event it will generate uh, hello okay so if you see if the token is equal to valid token then it will uh, call this generate policy method and it will pass user allow and this method here in okay so in the generate policy we have if effect and resource okay so if you are getting if effect and resource the policy document will be generated like this effect so uh, here we are passing allow only when it matches and if it doesn't match we are passing it deny so uh, this will be populated by allow or deny based on this condition and uh, this is the method here in that uh, the lambda will receive from the event okay so this is going to be our uh, get users uh, method here in okay so uh, this is how it will generate the policy and this this lambda is going to return uh, this policy which is uh, response uh, is going to be this policy document okay so uh, i hope i was able to uh, make that point clear uh, just to summarize again this lambda is going to return an iam policy document uh, based on this uh, token uh, that it receives so if it receives a valid token it is going to uh, return the policy with the uh, effect as allow on that resource and if it receives uh, an invalid token it is going to uh, return the policy as deny okay so i'm going to uh, add this code in the description so you can use this code for your lambda authorizer as well okay so uh, what we will do is we will go back to our api gateway and click on authorizers here and click on create authorizer and let's call this as users authorizer and uh, the authorizer type is going to be lambda and uh, we need to create a lambda for this so let's create our authorizer lambda let me click on this and click on create function and click on users auth lambda and i'm going to select python for this and click on create then i'm going to bring this code into this lambda the code okay and let me deploy this code so now once you have created this lambda let's go back here let me actually let me just uh, refresh this page so that we get that lambda okay and the lambda is users auth lambda and lambda invoke url is optional and uh, lambda event payload uh, we are going to create a token and the token source okay so this is uh, important so this is where your user uh, will pass the token while he's uh, creating a uh, like submitting a request to your api okay so let's call this as auth token so your user who is invoking the api will need to pass the token under this field okay so this field will be read and uh, passed as a token into the lambda and the lambda will receive the token into this uh, field okay so that whatever you pass in this field will be uh, populated into the event authorization token field uh, in the request okay so uh, make sure that this is this needs to go into your api documentation saying that hey what like i mean you need to pass this field and the the value for this field when you are invoking this api okay i'm going to disable the authentic authorization caching and uh, click on create authorizer okay so uh, let's test this authorizer once so let's click on let's select this and let me actually open this one and click on test authorizer sorry my bad okay i need to pass this okay so first let's pass something like abc and see what we get test authorizer okay so if you see here this is the response we got the policy uh, document okay so we got execute api invoke uh, and the effect is deny the resource is basically this uh, get uh, method that we had created 
earlier okay so this is the method ERN okay so on this method we are getting a deny because we did not pass the correct uh, token value now let's pass the one which is expected so we had defined like uh, here in the code uh, we are checking if it is XYZ987 okay so let's pass this correctly over here and see if it works okay click on test authorizer so now if you see you are getting uh, a low effect on this resource for this user okay so uh, that is how this authorizer works so now we have created this authorizer let's go and add this authorizer into our method okay let's go to resources and click on uh, get here and click on method request over here and in the method request you can click on edit and in the method request settings the authorization currently we have set it to none now so if you see now here we have token authorizers the user uh, authorizer that we created in the previous step okay and uh, that's it so we just need to add that authorizer into this okay so once you have uh, added that authorizer click on deploy api okay so you need to deploy otherwise uh, none of these changes will be reflected let's click on deploy okay so uh, now this uh, changes are deployed now uh, let's try to invoke our url uh, our api so get this is the invoke url let me go paste it here and see what we get okay we it says that author unauthorized so let's try this from postman okay so this is the same url okay let's hit okay so it says unauthorized because we are not pa passing any auth uh, token so let me click on headers here and let's pass our auth token so basically this uh, the value of this like i mean the name of this here, key needs to be auth token exactly like you created uh, while you are creating the authorization authorizer okay and the value we are going to pass let's pass some wrong value and call uh, pass abc and see what we get now if you see you are getting user user is not authorized to access the resource with an explicit deny okay because uh, this token is not matching with the token uh, like the expected token now let's pass uh, the correct one what it is expecting and see okay so if you see here now the request was uh, authenticated properly and we got back the response uh, from the api saying hello from lambda which is what uh, the api returns okay so uh, yeah that's it for this video i, I hope i was able to explain you uh, like how the uh, authorization can be implemented on your rest apis and api gateway okay uh, in the next video we're going to see how to uh, add authorization using uh, AWS I uh, Cognito user pools. Okay. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.